Yo, what's up my dudes? It's your boy, Antonio Me here. Today, we're going to be playing Sonic Generations for Mario Kart 8. Minecraft Wii U Edition, Platoon, Super Mario Maker, and Pokemon Go. And I played a heck of a lot more games on the channel. I just don't want to list all of them off in that intro. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Um, because, you know, it'd be like an hour long video and I want to make this as short as possible. If you didn't read the title, which I'm pretty sure you did, um, it's my two year anniversary on this channel. I basically just wanted to make this video um, to have a throwback on my life and how YouTube has helped me. And I basically just want to tell you like a story of how I've developed as a person and how YouTube was impacted and been a part of that. So without any more rambling, I'm trying to make this as short as possible. Let's get into this. So, we're going back. Back in time to about 2010. I was an antisocial little bugger. A little child, you know? <laughs> antisocial child. Um, I used to come home. No, 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 mixed up. <laughs> I used to go to school and then come straight home and nothing but go in my bedroom and you know just play video games play my Wii and my 3DS at the time um, so <laughs> um, that was that whenever I used to go out with my parents to do like the shopping or just to genuinely go out if people spoke to me I just completely ignore them or just because I used to take my 3DS on the go a lot um, I'd either ignore them or be playing or pretend to play my 3DS and just look at the screen like that so it looks like I'm, I'm playing that and I'm already like listening to the people. Um, I was like that for a while, I don't know, I just kind of was always like that growing up. I don't know why particularly, I just chose to be like that. So then 2014 rolled around, I was coming to the end, I can't remember actually, I can't remember if it was the beginning of year 6 or... No, I think it was the end, starting to become the end of year six, primary school. Uh, you know, I was about, how old was I? I was 12, no, 11 at the time, almost 12. Um, so, I, yeah, that was definitely around the end of year six. Uh, that was around the end of year six. I started coming out of my shell a lot more as I was growing up speaking to people I wasn't comfortable speaking to well not exactly that it's more like try and speak to people I wouldn't normally speak to so I wouldn't be comfortable because I never spoke to them before hopefully that makes sense so yeah I started doing stuff like that so that was good I started coming out my shell this is way before YouTube mind uh, I started coming out my shell a lot um, and I was good from there, I can't remember too much, but yeah, it was good from there, I came out my shell around that time, and then we go on to year 7, that's when I, obviously in a brand new school, brand new people, obviously, well I don't know, obviously you won't know this, why did I say obviously, <laughs> anyway, I was obviously still friends with my primary school friends, I still am to this day, we've stuck around together throughout all these years. I'm in year 10 right now, coming to the end of it, but um, yeah, I was with my primary school friends. I was talking to them, obviously because there was new people in the new school that I'm in now. I didn't know anyone besides my primary school friends or any of the teachers. It was a big struggle, so uh, my friends just kind of made friends with the people I didn't know at the time, who I'm now good friends with. Um, and obviously that helped me interact with people I don't know and I just got close to those people as well alongside my primary school friends same goes with teacher, I don't get into too much detail but you know how it goes school life so I was just seven it was good, year eight comes I'm thinking to myself I'm really open, I'm really confident now like my confidence boosts a heck of a lot more um, I was talking loads and I was interacting, I was playing sport and stuff 
by the end of year eight, I decided to make a YouTube channel. This was, I think, no, 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 at the beginning of year nine in 2016, uh, I decided to make a YouTube channel. <laughs> I just want to say this to everyone that's making, uh, planning on making a YouTube channel right now. We all get hate. We all get people making fun of you or just saying your intro in school. Well, at least I did. People used to say my intro and mock me in school a lot because of my YouTube channel. But don't worry, I've been there. The confidence is key, okay, people? Anyway, I decided to make a YouTube channel. I was doing cringy videos, you know, that's just normal. You do a heck of a lot of cringy videos. You can see some of them in the intro, probably. I make a YouTube channel. It's not this one right now. I made a YouTube channel. I uploaded one video on that channel. <laughs> and then um, I stopped uploading for a while. Then I made this channel, Antonio Me. It had like a smash ball icon at the time and I was basically uploading those uh, smash replay videos that you could do before Meavis died. I don't know if you could still do that now, I'm not too sure, but I, you know then like replays you would save them and you could upload them to YouTube from Smash Bros. I used to do that and then I was doing stuff like Would You Rather and like iPad stuff so I was recording like Sonic Generations off my iPad. I was doing all this behind my mom's back mind. That isn't the smartest move I made but it's also really helped me and I'll get into detail why in a sec. It helped me because my confidence went up loads. I got comfortable with speaking in front of a camera. I got comfortable with speaking to people I never met before and they're just online. But yeah, um, that's off topic. Um, I was making iPad stuff. Then three months after I started my YouTube channel, I decided to tell my mum about it. She wasn't happy, obviously, because, uh, you know, overprotective, which is good. She cares about me, obviously. So she was a bit sketched out about that. She didn't like the fact that random people over the internet could see your boy's face. Um, so I showed her, like, a video that I recorded and uploaded to YouTube um, just to try and convince her. It worked. Uh, she seen that I was confident and she seen I liked what I was doing and she also seen that I wasn't being stupid, you know, because some people could use YouTube stupidly or negatively and cause bullying or try and do stupid stuff. And yeah, um, so she could see I wasn't doing that. She could see I was being good and just enjoying it. So um, yeah, she let me continue off. So then I was continuing my iPad stuff. Then it rolls around August. Uh, that was my birthday, by the way. August 2015. No, 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 2016, sorry. It's August 2016. August the 14th, to be exact. That's my birthday. Um, I get a capture card for games, and I got a capture card, HD60, to be exact. Um, obviously that means I can record games with a full capture and I don't need a iPad anymore. So, uh, I had a laptop at the time, which I had my birthday view before. Like an Apple, not an Apple. <laughs> wow, a Windows laptop, a Windows 8 laptop. I had that the year before, um, on my last birthday. I had that. It wasn't the best, it was really slow, but it was okay. It could handle 720p, 30fps for video, so that was an added bonus, so yee, good on me. I started doing, uh, you know, normal videos, like gameplay videos with commentary. I also had a microphone alongside my capture card, a blue snowball mic. I'll show you it right now, actually. There you go. I'll try to show you a better angle. It's, that's my microphone, the blue snowball microphone. I've had this microphone ever since I bought it, and it's a really good microphone. A really good beginner's microphone. And for people that get YouTube a lot more now, too. I can't exactly show you my capture card because it's hooked up and I don't want to unplug anything. But, um, yeah. I had a microphone. It was all good. I just couldn't have my face into any videos because my uh, laptop couldn't exactly handle face cam. But that was fine. I started doing live streams then. Um, my channel blew up after that. My first ever live stream on this channel was We Party You. It was really bad resolution. That was because I had Sky Wi-Fi at the time. And my Wi-Fi signal is really bad in my room anyway and in my house. And 
I don't know, your sky could be good, but my sky Wi-Fi was years old, and it wasn't the best. So I was doing live stream, my first ever live stream, we part of you, like I said. It was in 360 pixels. It wasn't the best at all, but it may do for the time being. I gained about two, three subscribers from that live stream, which I'm proud about. Um, and then I, the next day, I made a Mario Party 10 live stream, along with my We Party You live stream. Uh, I stopped live streaming for a while then. Then I made a Smash Bros. video, like weekend series. I, the old series used to do every weekend. I play Smash Bros. either with my siblings or if they weren't with my siblings, with other people on one v one for glory. So that was good. I eventually stopped doing that because I just got bored of it. I started doing Mario Maker then as a video series. Uh, I've done about three parts, and then I made part four a live series. People really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm still doing that to this day. I'm on part 31 right now, as the time we're recording this video. I've done 31 parts of that game. People were enjoying it. I was enjoying it. Uh, I still am enjoying it. And it kind of lifted off from there too. We gained our first 100 subscribers. I took a 6 month break because I thought to myself, uh, I don't know if I want to do YouTube anymore because I was going through a phase and, you know, hormones, so I was mood swings and, yeah, I was feeling depressed. I can't remember why exactly. Don't go into too much detail. Uh, but yeah, six month break and all my friends were kind of saying negative things about my YouTube channel because they were jealous as well, so that kind of dragged me down. Saying stuff like, oh yeah, you buy subscribers and that, which isn't true, obviously. They were just jealous. So that kind of let me down. Uh, I got back into YouTube six months after. Started again. Started fresh. Started with Mario Maker again. Also done a Mario 3D World series as well. Super Mario 3D World. Finished that game. Done it 100%. It was good. People enjoyed that series too. Uh, then I decided to do Splatoon for a while. That was a good series. Uh, didn't do many parts on it. I've done a single player, I've done a few live streams uh, before I had the capture card and then uh, I stopped for a while and then I got back into Splatoon and started doing like live series with the capture card. They were the best, so I sent those to private. Uh, then I recently, before I had my Switch, which was in December this year, or well last year 2017 now, um, I got back into Splatoon live streaming and now I'm doing Splatoon 2, which is Splatoon Sundays. And uh, we have it from there. Now we're doing Mario Kart also, which we were doing a while back. We're doing Mario Kart and Splatoon Sundays, along with some Mario Maker. we got a good free live series so far. We're doing Mario Odyssey at the moment as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That was my YouTube. <laughs> uh, my YouTube videos, really, like the history of my YouTube videos. And uh, a bit of how YouTube helped impact my life. Because it really has, man. I'd never be this confident right now talking in front of a camera if it weren't for YouTube and just genuinely speaking as well. Because I would probably be pretty shy still otherwise. And now I'm the complete opposite. I'm a confident, talkative, apparently really funny according to my friends. I don't really think I'm a funny guy, but my friends seem to think I'm funny. Uh, I'm a nice guy to talk to, like I said, talkative, but people really find me... Uh, funny and just entertaining and really good to talk to. I'm a nice to talk to guy. Especially my friends. They think I'm a good guy to speak to. But yeah, I'm, I'm just rambling now. It's been a 30 minute long video. Almost 40 minutes. I hope this hasn't been too much out of your day, but I appreciate you guys viewing the video up until this point. You are a true legend if you've done that. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, uh, I will be doing a live stream pretty soon, not today as I'm recording this, but uh, as it goes up, I'll be doing a live stream pretty soon. But yeah, this is Antonio me signing out. Peace, guys. Take care. Thanks for coming over to this video. It's been a blast. Amazing two years so far. And I hope the channel grows more and more in the future. I love you guys. Peace out.